I'd like to welcome you all to another um, how-to tutorial, whatever you want to call it. Uh, today we're going to be talking about using a clipping mask and still having bleed of that same color or image that you're clipping. Um, a lot of times it's easy to just do a clipping mask and then uh, give it like a white or a black outline. But I've had some people ask me questions about how they do clipping mask and then keep the actual bleed as the same. So we're just going to do a really short video here and um, show you guys how we go about that. So you can cut fonts and things like that and um, you don't have to worry about having a white or a black around them. You can actually use the image to run clear out. So um, since it's Christmas and it's festive time of year, we are just going to grab this plaid from here. Um, just right click. This is just a standard image found on uh, out on the internet. So and then come into Adobe um, and we're just going to place it. Um, pretty simple so far. So now we're going to create a font. We will just do a Merry Christmas. Alright. So we'll center this so that it looks a little better here. And then we'll just give it a thicker font just for this video so that we can really see it. So here we've got our Merry Christmas and we now have our plaid background. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this Merry Christmas so that we can cut this out but also have our plaid as bleed so that we don't end up having any white from the vinyl after we've printed this in. So uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to go up to type and we're going to do create outline. So that creates our text into an actual image. And then we're going to want to make two copies of this. So we'll hit control B and then control B again. Um, I always, for some reason, just make sure that there's the copies because sometimes the uh, if the wireless keyboard doesn't make it and you get all the way through these steps and then at the end you realize, oh man, it didn't make the copies, then um, and you're just kind of out. So uh, you can do it with just two copies um, of it, but I always just like to do it with a third. So. so now that we have all three of them on top, we are going to highlight our first one we are going to then give it a five point stroke on the outside of it we're going to go up to object and flatten transparency click ok and then we're going to come to our pathfinder and we are going to click on unite um, if your pathfinder tab is not up you can find it up here under window and then just come down to pathfinder and click on that and it will show right up so I know a lot of people use the, uh, um, they go down here to path and then they do an outline stroke or an offset path, which is fine. I've just, uh, I was taught to do it this way by the, uh, the guy that helped me out. So I always do it this way. Um, like I said, there's so many ways to get the end result. Um, especially with Adobe, there's so many different ways that you can do certain things and still get to where you need to go. Um, so it's just kind of whatever you feel comfortable and you get into the rhythm of doing. Um, I know there's things that a friend of mine does completely different than I do. Um, I wouldn't say one way is faster or slower, but it's just what we're used to. So, so now we've created this with a five-point outline. We have flattened it, and then we have united it. So now we're going to click on it, and we're going to hit Control 8 Then we're going to hold shift and click on our background. All right, so I have not made a copy of the background. So we will back up one step and make a copy of this background before we do that. So you want two copies of the background. I apologize for that. So now we've got our Merry Christmas with a five point outline that we have flattened to the transparency of, and then we also united. So now what we're going to do with it is we're going to highlight it. We're going to hit Control-8. Then we're going to hold Shift, and we're going to click on the background. Then 
release and hit control 7. And what that's going to do is that is going to create our Merry Christmas in the plaid. So there's how you do that. So now we're going to take this and we're going to send it to the back so that it's out of our way. And now our next black Merry Christmas that we had up there is, um, is showing now. So with that, we're going to click on it. We already did the flatten transparency and unite. Um, or we actually did not do that on this. We did the, uh, uh, the create outlines. So since we have it as an image, we're going to highlight it and hit control eight. And then on our second background of plaid, we're going to hit control seven. So now that gives us our Merry Christmas in the plaid on the original size. So now here's where what I wanted to show. So now if we send this one to the back, we can see that we have this black here. Um, if you're using cut lines, um, this black, this extra one here is going to help you. Um, like I said, you don't necessarily need it. I like to have it just because I like to have everything on a different layer um, as I'm doing this. But you could also do it. We'll show you a different way to do it here in a second. So now with this, let's say you're using a program um, like your Roland VersaWorks for your BN20 machine or something along those lines. You can highlight this third black. And then you can actually, if you want, you can just delete the black and then come over here to your appearance tab and then we're going to add the cut contour line as a stroke move it down to 25 and then if we scroll in here you can see how obviously our picture gets a little pixelated I didn't pick a a good picture I just wanted to show you guys how to do the process so now you can see where your cut line is compared to where your image actually is so this will give you a bleed on your outlines. Um, if you're using a, um, an LXI type of program, it will let you do the cut contour options, and then you could do like a negative 30, um, and it will bring your cut lines inside, but it will allow you to have that bleed of the actual image so that when you go to put this directly on a shirt or on a sticker or go to overlay it over another design, you won't have any white around the edge or if you're cutting stickers out of it or whatever and um, you get half of it done and then you realize that there's white clear across the bottom because your cutter's off just a little. So uh, that's going to eliminate that problem completely. Um, and like I said, you don't necessarily need that third. Uh, we'll back up here to where that black was. You technically don't need this. I always like it, like I said, just because it gives me that different layer. Um, if you didn't want to do it that way, we can move this out of the way. Um, and then you could click on this. You would have to send it to the back because we're looking for the shorter one. Um, as you can see, you have this here. It's really hard to see, obviously, when they're on top of each other, but you have it. Um, and then you could just do the cut contour right on it as well. And then lower it down. Um, and like I said, this is for the, the Roland BN20 people um, that use those machines. And then you're going to have your cut lines there. So so that's also another way to do it. Like I said, I like to um, incorporate the black just because it gives me a, another layer to work with. So I know that I don't, um, I don't screw things up somewhere on my end or forget to put the cut lines on it. Um, it just gives me a different layer to work with every time. So it's a pretty simple process once you see it. Um, you basically just have to uh, make three copies of the word, two copies of the background if you're doing it this way, and then um, it's ready to go to the cutter or to whatever it is that you're going to do with it. So uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, be sure and um, subscribe to the page. We're going to be doing quite a bit more of these videos um, coming up in the near future. We have just started this page, so... Um, it's only got a few videos on it, but we're going to do videos like this. And uh, feel free to comment down in the comments if there's other videos that you would like to see. And um, if we can come up with different videos that will help you guys out, we will be more than glad to. Um, 
or even if you post that you want to see a video on something and there's already one out there, I will send you guys to wherever um, I have already found it or seen it at. So, uh, so that's the short little video for today. Um, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, just uh, leave them down in the comments. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and uh, we will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.